the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. The boat is here. The best of all time. A third generation star who at times has carried the women's division on her shoulders. Well, to that point, Natalia has won more matches than any other woman in WWE history. She mastered the sharpshooter in the heart dungeon, and she's looking to unleash it tonight. Natalia's got tremendous power and aggression. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxon, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalya. And introducing the champion from the Queen City, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. You have Charlotte Flair here in town who eats, sleeps, and breathes this business. And there's nothing but train endlessly. Yeah, you would think with all that training on the top of her and her abilities and natural athleticism, that Charlotte wouldn't have to rely on bullying tactics and mind games and shortcuts. So much then. Byron, I really don't think Charlotte so much has to rely on those things as she prefers to use them. After all, she learned everything she knows from the dirtiest player in the game himself. Then you have someone like Natalia, who always has large shoes to fill, coming from the well-respected Hart family. And think about the pressure of living up to that name. Yet Natalia does so with ease each and every time she steps foot in the ring. That's what makes her the boat. 
Charlotte Flair is so versatile as a competitor. Byron, given the intensity of her rivalry with Natalya, what should the Queen's strategy be? These superstars are so familiar with each other's styles. Natalya is a venerable powerhouse and the only female to graduate from the famous Hart Family Dungeon. That means the Queen of Hearts can take punishment just as well as she can dish it out. Something that adds intrigue to this matchup is both competitors utilize submission holds to defeat their opponents. The Queen must remember Natalya is a ruthless competitor and rains down hands like thunder on her competition. Also a brilliant competitor whose ring awareness is off the charts. Charlotte possesses incredible resilience and goes all out to defeat her opponent. If she starts styling and profiling, Natalya better watch out. Impressive kick out this late. German suplex. The Queen of Hearts is fired up tonight. Yeah, and now he's proven hard to keep up with. Heads out of the ring. What's next? She will wisely return to the ring now. There it comes. Caught with a neck breaker. Natalia turns the tables. Reciprocating the initial reversal. And it's Charlotte setting herself up top. The Queen! Oh, from the Queen! Goes into the pin. Two. Kick out close to three. No celebrations yet. Knee strike connects. Knife at the top. Woo. Momentum is clearly against Natalya now. now. I don't know if Natalya can withstand this. Here it comes. Nicely done. Is it enough? The rope stopped the pin. <laughs> Turned up was the only thing keeping her upright. Knife edge shot. Oh, bad place to be for the challenger. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. She's going up. Top rope hit. The queen. Natalia. Natalia is so proficient in submission maneuvers. Look at her go. Her opponent has to be in agony. Natalia showing off that patented in-ring prowess there. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart and guts don't matter with a broken body. She's trying desperately to make it to the bottom rope and maybe... Oh, this is Natalia's wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. Is she going to tap out? I think it's only a matter of time before the Queen taps out. Very unique escape to fight her way out of the sharpshooter. Charlotte with the boot. Here's the pin. Title on the line. A close count for the challenger. Uh, guys? Miss Money in the Bench music. Is this... It could be cash in time. Is it happening now? This is perfect. From behind with a briefcase. Where'd she come from? It doesn't matter. She's cashing in. We've got a triple threat match for the title. Uh-oh. is going to be pretty. Watch this. Watch the athleticism here.
tell you, I thought she was done there. This could be the beginning of the end. Uh -oh. The sharpshooter. She's in a tremendous oh, amount of oh, oh. No. Pin attempt for the championship. The champ with a surprisingly quick kick out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Just doing what she pleases. Telling you your position, you are way out of your depth here. Oh my god, a close line. Oh, she, she, she doesn't understand what just happened. Her name in the history books tonight. Here is your winner and the new WWE Women's Champion, Carmella. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron. The following contest is a no holds barred match. It is for the WWE Divas Championship. The EST of WWE. The first four letters are D-U-M-B, however. That's not funny at all, Corey. Nothing funny about Bianca Belair from bell to bell. A SmackDown Women's Champion who main evented WrestleMania. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. You know, Rhea Ripley's got to be the billboard example when it comes to stealing headlines in your debut. Remember, Rhea Ripley won the Raw Women's Championship on the greatest stage of WrestleMania. Now, you're absolutely right, Byron. Rhea Ripley is not afraid of any competitor, no matter how impressive their resume may be. You know, some would call this confidence, others arrogance. That's the look on the face of Rhea Ripley. What we do know is that Rhea Ripley is always prepared for any kind of fight. Introducing the challenger. From Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! And introducing the champion, from Adelaide, Australia, she is the WWE Divas Champion, Rhea Ripley!
the historic Divas title may have a new owner tonight. The Divas title was the pinnacle for women's wrestling, and it's back up for grabs tonight. Now, Michael, you and I were there to call a final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016, and I am excited to call it again right here tonight. Bel Air now trying to capitalize. Soon. Into the corner now. Oh, God. A running slap. That's just insulting. Oh, just turned that around. Left drop. Producing a trampoline. Just in case the first you didn't hurt, there's another. Rhea was just a step behind there. Good kick. Nothing fancy there. Wow, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? McCullough by the champ. to stay in this match. Ooh, she just turned it around. Up handle applied. And a gut buster. Nice. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Suck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Pena. Taking this to the floor. I 
I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Belair gets countered. She's trying to fight back in this one. Sequence of reversals there. Looking wobbly in the corner. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely not. Off position in top rope, heading up there. This is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. Rhea capitalizes there. Rhea Ripley with the Looking for the victory. There's two. That sucked all the air out of this place. It looked like a done deal. Bianca expected that one. she gonna do? Oh boy, kendo stick in hand, nefarious look in her eyes. Oh! Ripley and Belair keeping up with each other, blow for blow, hole for hole. Two hungry competitors both wanting to prove just how much they belong on top. Control. Nasty. Here's the pin to retain. She doesn't even get a count of one. She is still in this fight. Lives to fight another day. And now she's getting back into the ring. Come on, take them. Gonna stack them up here. Oh, the pin. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but. I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. Oh, Ooh, what a four on We have that scout. Ooh, what a measure. Rhea Ripley looking for the submission. Look at this power. The prism trap is in. Look at the power of the nightmare. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. She's tapping, she's tapping, but it doesn't matter at all in this situation. And Ripley wipes out as champion. Brutality succeeds again. Here is your winner, and still WWE Divas Champion, Rhea Ripley. A tough battle between both competitors and a hard-fought victory for Rhea Ripley. Bianca Belair may be the EST, but today the better and best woman was simply Rhea Ripley. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Well, she was once one of the sweetest. She's now one of the meanest. Introducing the participants. First, from San Jose, California, Bailey. You know, there was a time where Bailey was actually one of my favorites. 
Now she's arrogant. She even ignores me in the hallway. Oh, Saxton, don't you dare question Bailey's confidence. Ding dong, hello, she's earned that confidence. I've witnessed her first several days at FCW. This is not only a different competitor, but a completely different woman. She is the epitome of ambition, a true role model. Grown tired of being an underdog. She's tired of being overlooked. Has toppled every foe that stood in her way. It's boss time. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. We're going to get some serious questions answered about her endurance, her cardiovascular conditioning, and she wants to win this thing. A match like this will truly test your mettle like no other competition on the planet Earth. You should get one of those uh, rings that say graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. And here it is, the Royal Rumble match. Hashtag Royal Rumble starting off with the first two entrants. Then at a timed interval, a new entrant will make their way to the ring. And this is, of course, over the top rope elimination. Once you go over the top rope and both your feet hit the floor, you are eliminated. The boss is too slow there. Who's it gonna be? Watch her set up in the corner. How's that for a counter? And here's the entrant we've been waiting for. Pure focus, ready to seize her moment. She's got an answer for that. <laughs> oh, reminding her who all these people really pay to see. Byron, how do competitors build confidence in this type of match? A major way to build confidence and momentum is to string together eliminations. If a superstar can toss some people out to the floor and get in a groove, they change the complexion of the match. As great as those are, you only need one elimination to win this match. The last one. Oh! 
decision. Ooh, four connects.